Hey guys, Julie here, and today is another edition of Ask Hi Julie. For those of you that are new here on the channel, this is a segment, kind of like a Q&A. It's a Q, that's a Q&A. Um, but it's, uh, I do it under the influence uh, because I think my answers are just, <laughs> they're so loud. Is that how you spell jealousy? Hilarious. I mean, that's the main reason. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. Sometimes I say compelling things. Sometimes I say uh, things that, you know, might change your life. Can't guarantee that every time though. So today's theme, every one of them has a theme. Uh, today's theme is dating advice. I Instagrammed and tweeted to you uh, saying what questions you have on dating advice and you sent a lot. So I'm excited to dig in, but before we do, I gotta go get ready. You see how smooth I'm going? <laughs> Holy crap, was that a good circle? Do you want me to do another one? <laughs> Just for fun. My shoulders are so high. Did you notice that? <laughs> Holy crap. I am just, everybody just take a minute. Put down whatever you're doing. Let's just all do a big inhale together. <laughs> Sam, you too. And come down. Give your shoulders a big roll. Back. And two. One more. And three. Oh, how is that? Now we're ready to party. Are you ready for a Q&A? Because I fucking am. Here's my cue. When slash if you have feelings of jealousy, do you let your partner, hey Sam, she wrote that and did this in uh, emoji form. Um, no, okay, I have to start from the top. I, I got distracted halfway. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know what I just read. This arm's tired from just being up. Here's my cue. When slash if you have feelings of jealousy, do you let your partner, hey Sam, we've been through that, know and talk about it. Oh gosh, or hold it in like you don't give a fuck. <laughs> Is that how you spell jealousy? Do you? Do you, sorry, I just have to break this down for a second. Do you let your partner know about my personal jealousy and do you talk about it? Uh, I can tell you what we do. We don't talk about jealousy because neither one of us gets jealous because neither one of us really thinks the other person is a catch. <laughs> so it's like, no, ain't nobody going after you. And we both feel that way about one another. So that's nice. But... If you're in a relationship and, and you do feel jealous, I think you should, I think you should say. How much compromising should you do for the other person? Half. <laughs> because think about it. This is really simple, but it can be complex. If he does, she, them, does 50%, and then you do 50%, that's the whole 100%. That's all compromising taken care of. How can an introvert meet someone who's worth their time and energy? <gasps> this is a really tough one because, gosh, some of the good ones are introverts out there. Where was I? I got a shoulder. I got, I'm having shoulder issues here. I forget where they go. They sit kind of there. Uh, um, and I think that if you are an introvert, you, you genuinely do have to work on being a little more social and, and a little more open. Don't, don't hold everything all inside because the best parts about you are your personality and are what you um, have upstairs. So yeah, it's a, it is a skill that you can get better at and, and you're, you're, it's gonna be no problem for you. I think, I feel good about this year to be honest for you. So uh, what do you do if your partner doesn't tell you when uh, you don't look good and you have to find out from someone else? Um, it's, it's, it's not their fault <laughs> because, um, it, even if you want honesty, you really don't want honesty <laughs> because I remember this, I remember so many times, this one time that I, I thought it was really going to be good for me to overdraw my lips and Sam didn't tell me <laughs> and we shot so many cooking videos that day. And they're ruined now. Like, you can't even watch them. They're so bad. 
Oh, so I mean, I was pissed, right? You can imagine because I was like, how could you let me go out there like that? But I tell you what, in the moment, if he had said those don't look good, gosh, you couldn't, you couldn't shake me enough to make me believe that those lips didn't look good. So <laughs> why, are you, why are you shaking me at all? Um, <clears throat> how important is it for your parents uh, to approve of the person you're dating? Oh, shucks. I wish I could say zero. Uh, but that is just not true because my parents know me better than anyone else in the whole goddamn world. And I have, I have amazing parents also. Um, not that you don't, and I'm not trying to show off, but they're kind of fucking awesome. So if my parents didn't approve of the person I was seeing, I mean, there would be a long, complicated conversation. Uh, but I would definitely weigh that in to being with the person because it's obviously pretty toxic. I remember my brother really didn't like this guy that I dated. And boy, was he right. And then there was one guy I dated that my mom was like, she knew it wasn't going to last. And she was like, okay, we're just going to, because I talked to her after it. And she was like, we just got to wait this one out because Julie's going through a phase. And if it gets any longer than three to four months, we'll step in. Because <laughs> he was not good for me in the slightest. Uh, and then right at the three month mark, she called it. Next question is from Twitter. It is, how do you deal with a friend who is into you, but you're not into them and they want to retain the friendship? Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. That, I don't think it can happen. Oh, that makes me so sad because not, not for you. Cause you're the one who's calling all the shots and you get to have the basketball in your court and Lord knows I love basketball, but the person that likes you, there's going to be no point in time where they are not into you. Even if they say, we just want to be friends, they're going to like, I just don't, I genuinely don't think I would love to hear conflicting theories in the comments down below, but I just, gosh, I just got so sad. No, no, I'm not sad. <laughs> gosh, that was quick. Do you believe in prenups? Yeah, no problem. How do you spice things up in the bedroom? Gosh, you could go, I mean, you can go autumnal and do kind of like a pumpkin spice. <laughs> if you were thinking maybe more of Christmas, you do like a little allspice, cinnamon, nutmeg, nuts in your mouth. <laughs> when is it okay to get back with an ex? Oh my God, girl, girl, it doesn't fucking matter. What are you thinking? No. Move the fuck on. How many breakups were like proper breakups and then got together that you know that have lasted? You wanna know why? Because the relationship dynamic is immediately ruined when there is a breakup and more often than not, those like fundamental seeds that were the initial issues don't fucking go anywhere. They just don't. And so if you're dating someone and you can't handle the whatever shit they're bringing to the table and not so much that you can't handle it, maybe they're a shitty person. It's just not going to change. You know, you know how you're always a daughter to your mom. You're just always in daughter dynamic. That's what that fucking is. People think they can change and then they get back with an ex and then the same fucking person. Did that make sense? Cause I feel very passionate. I don't think it did. Let's talk about this tomorrow. Cause I, I have more to say on this. How? Oh fuck. A lot of, a lot of tough, a uh, lot of tough questies here. The old questiones. How long do you wait to accept that someone has ghosted you? Do you call Ghostbusters for a second opinion? <laughs> I never thought of that, but I might. Is there someone there to answer the phone? <laughs> it's not real, right? <laughs> How long do you wait to accept that someone's ghosted you? Okay, look. If they want to talk to you and they're interested in you, you, I don't think you would be asking yourself that question. Um, man, if they want you, they'll, they'll talk to you guys and girls. I'd say maybe three days. 
Three days is too goddamn long though. No, half a day. Everyone's on their fucking phone. You tell me you didn't see that notification? Bullshit. No, if they want to talk to you, they will. You got ghosted. Gosh, I am snacky. I need a snack. I'm gonna have a snack. I'm gonna have, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna have a snack. This is so loud. <laughs> Can you hear that? Oh my gosh, my ears are exploding. <laughs> what happened between here and there? Because <laughs> I just walked six feet <laughs> and I came back and I'm fucked up. <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> Can you hear anything? <laughs> oh, my shoulders. Don't rush me. This is a lifestyle. I can't be rushed. I won't be rushed. I'm having the time of my life up here. Oh, man, I'm a mess. You guys, I don't, I don't think I like these. <laughs> Did you see we got an elite? Yeah. Wow. Just looking at the house. It's kind of crazy. It's amazing. I live in a castle of me. It's all my favorite things in one place. Is this what all homes are? Literally everything in your life that is your favorite is in one place. Unless your favorite is Disneyland, and that's in a different place. Okay, time has come. I just want to say thank you to you all for watching and tuning in and giving me your delicious questions. And you're welcome for bringing the snacks. Uh, I, I hope you guys really liked this video and I hope you subscribe to this channel. That's all from me. <laughs>